That's what I'm talking about. King Gangsta. Yeah, Carleon. Carleon in the building. Yes, sir. Uh, how you doing? I'm straight, you know, getting to it. Back to the numbers. I'm getting to it. That's man. crazy because when I shot your video, <laughs> uh, can I talk about that? Yeah. yeah, I shot your video. I want to thank King because like he was one of the first videos that my had my YouTube pop in. Like I think the the video got like 13k, 20k. I forget. And then you went to jail For sure And then your shit was popping While you were in jail I'm like damn That's like a real ass Bay Area story right For there For sure Shout out my niggas That was You feel me Really sharing my shit And really slapping that shit Cause you feel me I wasn't out to promote it Or nothing Like I just yeah. dropped that shit Went straight to the feds So you know. Yeah A lot a lot of my personal clients too, And I'm gonna tell you this I never told you A lot of my personal clients Would actually And I never sent you those roses And I'm thinking I'm like, Damn that's fucked up but they would DM me say, "Bro, who is that?" Because I would share certain clips, and I was like, "Oh, that's King Gangs." I'm like, "Bro, I'm hella feeling his shit." And when you do listen to your lyrics, that they're pretty heartfelt, man. That shit was from the heart. Like, yeah, they're pretty like, okay, I do. I mean, he's been in a real hood. I, I like, I was in a, I was in a dark place. Like, you know what I'm saying? Because unfortunately, I had to uh, self surrender. So. Knowing I had to go turn myself in, like shit, like you know, I was tough. Like I, I, I was fucked up. Like my kids wasn't smart. Well, my daughter was like nine. So how many kids you got? I got two kids. Jeremiah, and Mariah. Shout out my babies. Shout out the kids. So, so that's real tough. How uh, long you sat down? Oh, so go, go ahead. I'm sorry. Uh, nah. Uh, uh should I sit down for uh? Almost four, damn near four. Ooh. But I was in a bitch ass halfway house fighting my shit for two years. No time served, nothing. So them whole two years went down the drain. You feel me? So well, the whole four, right? Shit, I did that. I did that. <laughs> that's four years. That's a lot. I've I mean, never lost time like that, bro. That's, so that's really lost time. But it's a long time. I got my mind together. Like you feel me? I, I can honestly say I went in a boy and came out a man, though. Like really, mentally and uh, everything. Why? Because of people or you? Nah, really, because I got to see it for what it was. Like, when I was out before, just having fun, um, <clears throat> using drugs, selling drugs, all that shit. Man, that shit easy. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Right. But people got to know what come with that shit. You feel me? And it's a lot that come with that shit when everybody getting these songs and talk all this gangster shit and all that shit. They don't tell you what come with that shit. You know what I'm saying? Jail, death, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That come with that shit. Why everybody glorifying that shit? Just make sure you mean what you say and you say what you mean when them people come. Yeah. Come because I, yeah. this shit get real. It's really real. It's really real. I know clients, a lot, unfortunately, a lot of my clients are in the business. And it's something that they have to kind of weigh on people from the East Bay, especially. Like, you have to be, uh, you can't be counterfeit. You know, you got to be real and whatever you rapping about is real. So forcing they have to take the axe into doing that. And it's a weird game because the cops are like listening For sure. and then they're using it against you in court. Did any of that come up in court? Nah. Can I ask you that? Fortunately, it so didn't. they didn't bring up none of your music, no. but you heard stuff where they have, right? For sure. Yeah, that's weird. Like they gonna paint that picture of who you trying to paint that picture you are to the people. So, so they did they, nah, they, they ain't bring that shit up. If they, I mean, if well, they, they were trying to paint a picture though. <laughs> no, it wasn't that scenario. To extent, okay, yeah, they already have what they had then. When they don't have what they have, they're trying to paint the picture. Nah, they had what they had. One at the end of the day, one of my bitch ass homies told on me, and I still don't know. So that's why day. they didn't paint the picture because they had a bitch ass homie. Straight up. If yeah. I'd have took it to trial, you feel me? I'd have known. But at the end of the day, that's why that conviction rate is where it's at because people don't play with them. You better get your motherfucking time and get on. That's just so, tough. What's the numbers game? Because it's someone that you rolled with every day. That you don't. Did you day. have like an inkling? Uh, you don't even have an inkling. So that even makes it more frustrating. I felt. I like. know it was a him because in my paperwork <laughs> it say his information is withheld for his. But you don't know safety. that could have been a girl that told someone to say that. Maybe no, no one would do I mean, that. Why know, would someone do that? You ain't really supposed to. Yeah. Talk to the females like that. You, you a nerd if you get around females talking about some gangster shit. Right. You feel me? Pillow you talking. Try, yeah, yeah, that which, part. But it happens a lot. It do for what? Cool points. Like oh yeah, on, a lot. Well, a lot of people don't get pussy and they Man. trying to get close. With that technique. Facts. That's big facts right there. You yeah. ain't never lied. A lot of techniques. Yeah. yeah. Uh, four years is a lot. Can you tell me what age from what age? 
Uh, that you lost Are you late 20s Or mid 20s Or Shit I'm 34 I Oh my god bro I So you're early 30, 30? I spend my th- whole When you turn 30 Is your best time in life I'm sorry to tell you that But for me Like right when I turned 30 Cause it was like The balance of everything You know what I mean Like you're not old But you're not young So you you're right there, you know. I miss that shit. Uh, I'm mad when I lose a weekend. <laughs> <laughs> like when I'm sick, you know, like fuck, man, they were out. Fuck. For sure, All for this sure. shit, you know, so that's that humbled me a little bit knowing you were in there, you one of my clients, and you're just you're just sitting down. Uh you are you wanna tear right now? I know you're back at Dream Kings. You're doing your thing, you're recording like crazy. I think I even seen you here too, for recording sure. like you're on a tear right now. You, you you're trying to I'm on my shit. I'm coming for what's mine, like straight up, like the same vibe before when you went in? Yeah, but no, it's deeper. Like, I, I got a story. I got a bigger story to tell. You feel me? And I got a voice, and I'm going to be heard. And I, I'm coming for what's mine. Like, I've always been humble, always been a person of, I'm going to hook him with him, and I'll put me on the back burner. Yeah. I'm going to plug him in with him, but I'll put me on the back burner. You are that dude, yeah. You know what I'm saying? But at this point in my life, like, I'm really pushing me, and I ain't never did that. Ever like even when I dropped that video, uh oh, no, 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 no. You feel me? That like, was the one I'm looking for. I'm sorry, man. That was it right dude, there. Like for real, I'm doing what it do for me for yeah. once, and, and and shit starting to pay off, and I'm coming with a passion though. And a lot of people are gonna be uncomfortable, but I don't I don't give a fuck. Like straight up, yeah. like. Real talk I didn't did my part I did what I was supposed to do As a real nigga As a friend As all that shit Yeah And I, I can't wait Cause like I said uh, The video before you went in A lot of people DM me A lot of people Were from the East Bay Like who is that And I think they like the lyrics They like the fact that Your lyrics were a little ups- Like you're upset Like People are snitching on me and shit, and I gotta like, fucking go to court. And you're not helping out my mom. It's just like I like I like that shit. It's just cool. That shit I like because it's very authentic, and you're not glorifying it. And then you know you kind of see people that do glorify it. And that's crazy though. That's hard to look back on when you when you do that. You know what I mean? For sure. A little guilt, you know, when you're just glorifying the whole shit, the whole the killing and the whole thing. And what's crazy is, I'll be honest, like in my Tupac era when I was around, like it was like people were like in that gangster era, but but now I gotta be honest. It's scary because like it's real to y'all. Like y'all actually played it out in a sense. Yeah, and some of these people underestimate the police. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. They like, would want to. Yeah, they crazy. Everybody want to be so gangster. You want to tell them the car you was in. You want to tell them the block you rocked. You want yeah. to tell them what color you was wearing when you yeah. rocked it for people to believe. But I'm gonna keep it real, bro. If your name hold weight, you ain't gotta say all that. You straight's gonna know. The people gonna know. But yeah. if you smart, ain't nobody gonna know. <laughs> straight up, you feel me? If you really smart, ain't nobody gonna know. That's the balance. <laughs> That's yeah. a tough balance, bro. Yeah. That is a tough balance. That's it sounds cool and I get it, but like that's a tough balance. Bro. Definitely. Like, yeah. Yeah. What are you into right now when you got out? Did you hear about the crypto? For sure. Did you that trip you out? Yeah. And I, I didn't understand it. Like I'm slowly um understanding, but that shit's weird. But that shit's crazy. I hope you invest a couple of dollars. I didn't yet. Go well, get crypto.com. Yeah. Add your debit card on there and yeah. just buy some doge, man. I they say it went down, right? But down and up, down and up, bro. Oh, mama's, bro oh, it's mama. the future. And I'm gonna tell you something. So uh two years ago I bought this coin called Binance coin. I only bought it because they're they're their own shit in China, right? That's where you buy coins in China. So I bought it for like eleven dollars a coin. I bought four of them. Bro, they three hundred dollars a coin right now. Jeez. I got fifteen hundred in my account oh, my from five from fifty fifty five dollars. So I think you should just throw a little something in it. You just did that. So what you do? You just put it in there and forget about it. You can just forget about it. Don't get all you try to get crazy. It? Don't get all yeah. Buy it. No, don't do all that. You like check on it. Buy it and give it to your kid. Straight up. It'll be crazy money, man. I'm telling you. Like straight up. What's uh stool name? That's with Alicia Keys. Um. Swiss Beats Is he with Still with Alicia Keys Ain't he Yeah they were there together For sure Hey hold on hey. Cause you know they had an affair I wanna introduce my Motherfucking brother My motherfucking homeboy Man it's Street Streets child. We just asked Street something And don't know That motherfucking part Man it's Streets. my motherfucking Cousin my motherfucking brother Streets man. you gotta bring The Street mic a little closer child. To you though But um 
Yeah, what's going on? Hey. Yeah, that's my mother. Oh, he got a radio though. voice. Yeah. What's going on? Yeah, yeah, Shit on. just boomed. <laughs> Look at my bar. It just boomed across it. I think we clipped. Yeah, you know how to do this. You know. NASA, I think, heard us. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Streets is a rapper? Brother. Yes, sir. Okay, he looked like a rapper. Shit. Producer rapper, slash engineer. Oh, like he, Producer slash... He do his shit. He work, at, he Dream, he work at Dream Kings. Kings. You were the one that... Oh, yeah. shit. Yeah. I'm so, yeah. I'm so sorry, yeah. Streets. Bro, you're an amazing engineer, bro. Appreciate you. In a very legendary studio, you guys worked at, man. Um, you worked at. So, like, I've always known Dream Kings because it's like I had Treetop Studios and people would always go to Dream Kings. Yet they didn't go to Treetop. And, like, they would just, they would wait for you guys, man. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, yeah, shout, shout out you guys. Man. Yeah, man. That's dope stuff. And it's just dope to have another studio. Did you ever hear Treetop in jail? Like, was that name being thrown around? Um, I, get, I get a lot of references from about, people out of jail. I don't like. know if it was. I mean, because you know it's a gang uh, <laughs> down in LA though. Because I brought it. Oh, up you was in LA. Time. Uh, I was in Lime Pop. Well, I ended my, my the end of my sentence down by L. A. Oh, but, uh, okay. At first, they sent me to fucking uh, Oregon. Yeah. Man, they sent me out of okay. state. Oh, what the f- man? Off okay, the so rip. you wasn't in Rita then. Okay, I thought you was in Rita because I'm off work- the rip. Yeah. They sent me to fucking Oregon. I went to Sheridan. You feel me? Off the rip. So I'm what's like, in Oregon? White people? Not man. They gang banging in Oregon. Hey, shout out to Oregon though. I got some real thugs out in Oregon though, and I. Like <coughs> they got the packs too. Excuse me, big packs though. <laughs> and, hey, and they don't got no taxes out there. Like they got that. no sale taxes in Oregon. That's crazy. You can go in anywhere. Ain't no taxes on nothing. So you would buy some. You buy an iPad. That shit. If it's fifty dollars, you finna pay fifty dollars. <laughs> I'm the dead homies. You finna pay what fifty dollars. What the fuck? That would make sense to go buy shit there and just sell it on Amazon then. For sure. You know, that, you big know, facts. Yeah. And they got the big ass Nike uh, factory out there. Like, yeah, I heard up. about that. Yeah, homie. Shout out to Oregon, though. You feel me? But that was fucked up getting sent out there. <laughs> you, was, you heard about uh, the lady that was the CEO of Nike out there in that factory, and she was like shipping her son like the shoes that, then the son was starting to flip the shoes as aftermarket, and they got busted. That, that boy I made like a cold million. I swear, I think off I heard like about just that. the color, yeah. <laughs> like exclusive colors. That's that shit was crazy. I was like, "Damn, little inside job gig, man." You in the shoes? Yeah. Okay. In the shoes. I don't. I don't. Uh, I don't fuck with Jordans though. Me I'm neither. Kidding. I hated George I Streets. You wear Jordans or? No, I got some. On. Okay, you got some on. <laughs> and I stepped. <laughs> oh, my bad for stepping on them before. I should. I'm fired for that. Like they're cool. hella retro, so I know they're expensive as fuck. Uh, but those were the shoes I couldn't afford as a kid. That's why I was like, I never could wear I Jordans. Them up. The they only must. Jordans I had, my friend gave me a pair. My friend Shit. Yeah, but you fucked yours up? I fucked them up. That's why my mama stopped buying them motherfuckers. Pig. She yeah. tried to buy me some expensive shoes, think I'm going to take care of them. I fucked them shoes up first day. Damn. Yeah. They're fucked really nice up. shoe, though. I get off brand yeah. shoes now. I get the shoe no one gets. For sure. That's dope, though. Yeah. Because it's unique. Like, like you don't this even shoe. know what these she is. was $50. It matches your fit What's more that? than mine does now. I don't know what they are. They're fifty dollars at the Nike clearance store. I know with your fit they go way better, bro. Way better. Them clean though. Yeah, man. It look like some browns though. Fifty bucks. Just saying, man. Hey, Streets, you you get a lot of clients out of jail, right? Yeah, yeah. Them niggas come straight. Fresh out. I had a nigga. I ain't gonna speak on this. You feel me? But he came fresh out of jail the other day, and you know. It's an experience. He do his thing or was he rusty? <laughs> you know, it's a little it's, it's a process, man. It's humbling. Like it's a process. It's humbling that they think of you when the first thing when they get out though. Yeah, you feel me? I appreciate it too. You feel me? But I worked a long time on this shit. You feel me? It's a craft. Yeah. That is, that is true. So I put in the work. A lot of years You need to be uh, You need to put in the work As an engineer It's not something You can just hop into Like basketball nah, You can just be sure. Naturally gifted <laughs> sure. But it's a lot of uh, Opportunities And doors You know what I'm saying When you when you engineer Like don't get me wrong we, yeah. I, I engineer I do all that shit But it comes to a point Like as an artist You can go a lot farther Yeah but sometimes Say with Sada baby rap. and I just mm-hmm. wanna rap I don't wanna Man. Like record And Play Stop uh, mix my shit No one then, does bro but, look, but when it come to When I want my shit done I be like Damn I wish I did my shit Cause I'm I'm finna get in it And Hello. You know what I'm saying And some weird shit I know every artist Know this man That record on their own 
Some of the best content come out when you buy yourself, yourself. because you cat off in there and do Listen, shit you would all, do around all the people. Best, <laughs> all the best verses, all the best songs come out of small home studios or home studios, sure. small, like it's never the big and ass studios that I say artists say they produce their best music in. You know, when they go to like maybe a small outfit, maybe like my hours or whatever, or, or they're at home, that's when they have a, a better time. It's just straight to the point. I, I was watching this documentary. There's like, hella pop songs that were written in sweden so these dude these writers in sweden are just killing shit it's called like this is pop on netflix and so they had all these people flying out there like britney spears like huge fucking people and it was a studio that was smaller than this like the whole studio like they had all in sync in there and three members would have to stand up because they only had two chairs damn (laughs) it was crazy bro and i'm like Damn, like it just hit after hit after, and the shit was like shit. It was like treetop back in the day. Remember that? I don't even remember that. I didn't like, get to come over. Okay, but it was man. like I don't know, it I was. Down, it, we were right a little bit more. Yeah, shit. we were a little bit more low key then. And it was. It was like that. I think my little brothers went like, over there. Man, rest in peace, my little brother too. You worked with my little sure. brother a couple of times. Which one? Uh, Lil J. Matter of fact, you uh, you that last video you shot with me and him. He was in there at the school. When nah, we at the school? after the school. After the school, by the uh, pizza house. Okay, yeah. Yeah, man. what? He recorded at your lab like hella times when I was down, and um, yeah, man, he passed away. Unfortunately, man, he passed away three days before I came home, man. Three days, wow. Three motherfucking days. Man. Had to That's be my a heart. sudden. R.P. My baby, though. You feel me? That shit took me down a uh, a dark path. Like I'm, I'm just getting back. Like depression is real. Like right. and people, and it's fucked up. In our culture, in our community, motherfuckers downplay that shit. Like, you can't even bring that shit up to your homies, motherfuckers to fuck around and laugh. But it's like, that shit real, and people don't talk about it. You, you know have to. Well, that, so I think, what, for me, coming where I came from, I don't know if I was a nerd or whatever, but like, it would mean a lot hearing someone I felt that was cooler than me sounding depressed and being depressed about shit that I'm depressed. I think that's what helped me a lot. And I gotta say, and y'all, era, it's crazy because. People are trying to be so cool, so tough, and, and so, so cool. cool. They don't want to yeah. say something that's it, revealing of themselves. But in my day, we did it a lot. I had a lot of big tough dudes. Hey, I love you, man. I love you, Brian. I'm like, whoa, why? Are you, why are you saying that? You know? And you just say something, and speak a real on nigga it, right there. And it's just like I would be like, man, I thought I was so tough, and here's a guy I know is tougher than me, and he's just being fucking real man we're all we're all feeling the same shit do you like me are we cool like be, is it, what it is, is we're all feeling human, it you know man. he being human Everybody he's being human robots we are human beings and he's checking on me and that made me feel better i gotta not like i was in a funk but we always self-doubt ourselves the more isolation we give and that's that's what we go to is isolation right we oh i just want to go home and relax or just be by myself but as soon as you do you start doubting yourself right and then yeah and then he would just come out, hey man, just, you know, something tell me, we get my mind going. I'm like, wow. And you would I, be surprised how that, far one, com- like one bro, conversation. Bro, and I would have went down that rabbit hole. Go, oh, that bro. girl not with me, or this, or my God not paying me back, or whatever the insecure thought. Just, that's so insignificant. Why am I thinking bad about myself? People love me. What the fuck am I tripping off of? Straight up. You need a human to do that. You can't, it's like, it can't come in a comment and in the light. So I feel you. Depression is very real, and I don't know how y'all doing, y'all, Eric, because y'all a lot more. It's not talked about. It's if like, I wish a motherfucker would tell me I'm a pussy, tell me to my face, but I, I'm gonna keep it real. When people come out and talk like that, the younger people look at it as a weakness or he weak or what is, what is you talking? But at the end of the day, it's like man, for real, for real. One phone call go a long way. One question: How are you doing? Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Or just, hey man, remember that time you did that video, bro? Your your shit was so dope, bro. Right. I never forgot that, bro. And I just want to let you know that, bro. Man, you that's, that's and, shit and crazy. I make a point to do it with people that I know randomly, and I don't give that enough time. But I only do it because people have done it to me. Right. And there's this guilt. Like, I have a really good support system. I've always like picked cooler people instead of cool people you know what i mean i get exactly what you said i always had to pick vulnerable people because if you're not vulnerable i cannot fuck with you you will fuck me up i will need validation and you won't give it and i need and i'm not saying i need that i don't need it but i'm trying to reach a higher level so i do okay i'm not just trying to vibrate at y'all level i'm trying to be something bigger and i need that in order to get there and everyone needs that definitely to get to you know what i mean to be a higher being 
For sure. You know? And that comes to who you surround yourself around. Like, you can't surround yourself around yes men. Because at the end of the day, they ain't your homies. Because you can go tell a motherfucker, I'm finna go rob this bank. You know what he finna tell you? Yes, man. <laughs> no, real talk. If he don't care about you. If, if, he, if, if you yes, don't man, care, if, if he's like, scared yeah. of you and ain't got no no voice and can't stand on his own two feet. Because yeah. your real partner gonna take hell no, nah, bro. You ain't finna go rob no motherfucking bank, bro. You got You're kids. Better you got, than that, yeah. Exactly. Like your mom would be so upset, bro. This like, scary little boy or this yes man is so wanna be cool and think anything. You gotta you look say, at the situation. Like, like that guy don't have a good a uh, parental situation than you do, and he's just trying to drag you into his shit. Misery you know loves I mean? company, man, and you gotta get that shit the fuck from around. A lot you of it's being who it is, man. A lot of it's being aware, guys. Like, look yeah. at who's trying to drag you into shit. Like, and I don't give a fuck if you know? it's your mama, your girl. Like, oh my god, in, like yeah. you gotta know when. Not only enough is enough, but you gotta know when. It, just make it make sense, man. Think right. about this shit. Like that shit don't even fucking make sense. And this motherfucker told me it was cool. What type of person is he then? Yeah. Like for real, think about that shit. I see my clients play that game, bro. When they come in numbers, yeah. And when it's, if, if they're a group bigger than five, I'm like, oh, someone's playing a role, for and sure. it's not <laughs> like sure. you know, it's not great for everyone. And I got And sure. I always tell the leader, like, you're rolling way too deep, like. Do you think all the people are going to vouch for you when something goes down? You're letting too many people know your shit, and they're not sure. all. And I can tell by their faith, they're not going to vouch for you, bro. Like, that was my problem. They're man. not like, going to vouch. They're cool personalities, but that's all they fucking that's are. It, at the end man. Of the day, you got to look for a motherfucker for who they is, yeah. man. If you just get high with a motherfucker, bro, you just get high with him. Like you that's it. There's that's no bond, it. and we confuse like, the bond. Like, sure. oh, we were joking. We were like, oh, there's a bond that we get for a thought. Sure. We think alike. There's a bond. That is. There's no Big fucking facts. bond. Big facts. There's no though. fucking bond. Big facts though. Like for real, for real. Like that's part of how. Like <clears throat> I still don't know how, who told on me or what. Like I was spiraling, man. I was. Fucking with a lot of people, like people I ain't know from a can of paint, but we got high together, yeah. And that was our common thing, yeah. And, and at the end of the day, like, look what happened. Like, I got kids and hella shit, man. I had to step away from. You know, when, what I'm when there's nothing on the table, you can do that. But when you have shit on the table, then it's that gonna shit come and bite you. When you getting high, like yeah. even if somebody probably, I probably somebody need to beat my motherfucking ass. <laughs> I'm gonna keep it real. Even if somebody tell me, I'm pretty sure hell of my real close partners tell me like, "Who well, you tripping? You fucking like, what's going on?" But I was so high, and my vision was so clouded. Like, like I, I think I don't know if that was the reality check. I need it because I took so many losses on this bid. Like I lost a lot of people close to me. Like and that and, and with that. I'm being just said, thinking of the four years. Man, of course that would that I would see that would fuck me up. I would be thinking that one thought, who did it? For four years straight, uh, going on in the eight. I'm still thinking and about see, it. See, like, that's the that real never go away. That's the real loss. So I can't necessarily I don't like I kick with my peoples, you feel me? But at the end of the day, it's always in the back of my mind, like, yeah. none of you motherfuckers got me out the way, though. You know but maybe saying? that's a good thought to have going forward. Like, for Just real. not, like, so acting on it, but being aware of it. Like, because you know why? Because now that you're out, you're going to look the better yourself, and now something's going to happen. That was good that happened. For sure. For you can't sure. fuck up the bigger opportunity for the smaller one that got fucked. You know what I mean? I want to look at it the right, I mean, you the have best to. way. I'm looking at you right now like, bro, if you sit with this thought, one, it's negative, and it's going to eat with you because it's a problem they can't solve. It's the way the system gets people down. For sure. Okay? I was beat by my, by my dad and my brother. My brother's a cop. We don't like each other. He's done weird shit to me as a cop because I'm over here fucking with rap and all that. He's over here fucking with white people. I let shit go, trust me. And I could have held on to it. Like he had me kicked out the house and we'll, we'll, I could have been, I, I see where I would have stayed mad because I was really angry before I smoked weed. But thank God my friend introduced me to weed. Because then like, now I just chill out a lot and, I, and when I get high now and I get mad, I go... Oh God, I was, I'm like such an asshole. Why did I do that? And weed always makes me reflect, you know. And now I realize, okay, my dad was insecure at life too. That's why he did shit to me. That's why he was mad at me. That's why I got mad back at him because I'm insecure about life too. 
That's why My mom didn't have it Really figured out So that's why You know like I They were broke ass Asian They didn't have it figured out They felt stupid By white people all the time And when we learned English They felt stupid by us And they would say You think you're smart So I saw the divide And it, like we made me realize that But if I didn't let go of that Of those physical encounters I would have been angry That whole time You like, know I'm, I'm still angry But I'm not you gotta do it's shrooms. Bitter. You gotta do shrooms. But I'm not as bitter. Like I was bitter, bro. Like you, you should be. You have a right to be. I'm sitting See, on. That's the bunk. You have a right to be bitter. Bitter, but, but that's it takes just too much can't. energy. It, thank you. Like, you know what I'm saying. So it's it not gonna help you build a company. Like, it's not gonna help you build a company, facts. right? It's a trailer facts. of bad memories, mm -hmm. and at some point you might have to do shrooms <laughs> or ask. Shrooms I'm saying, well, you should try it because <laughs> she was crazy. When I was depressed, I did shrooms and it kicked me out. I also did DMT. That and shit's that crazy. Too. Yeah. That's just crazy. That's why, here. That's why you're here. That's why you're here to do shrooms and DNT and I not fucked around and not with worried DMT. about someone that probably already got their karma already in some way, lost his wife. Something. You don't know. That shit opens up like a fucking Yeah, man. See this is, what what this portal. is is a, it, it's a gain if you can forget about it. And you gotta understand, you're here for a test. You're here to be tested. That that was like one of your tests. I couldn't probably survive I that forget. test. I can never forget. I, I, I couldn't survive that test I either. I can forgive, but I can never no, forget. No, you shouldn't because forget because you, you, you need to know people are aware of trying to get at you and do you dirty. For sure. But you gotta emotionally not let it uh, wear, wear, weigh down a smile. For sure. You know? For sure. Because cause he's not there to watch you smile. He doesn't know. And, and that's fucked up that you over here controlling your smile because of some True. dude that doesn't matter to you anymore. I'm just saying, you know what I mean? I totally, that's why I don't like I people totally getting me mad because I don't like you having an effect on me if, you, if I feel like you're not on my level. Yeah. And that's why I just like to forget about certain people, you know what I mean? I mean, since I put that time behind me, I try not to even talk about the events in jail. I, I, straight up, this is what I want to say too, man. Don't ever let nobody tell you about his bitch ass jail experience. That shit is an intimidation tactic. Oh, I didn't been to this prison. I didn't been to that. Man, get your yeah, bitch yeah. ass out of my face. Check this out. I spent 365 days on the fucking real world where a car can hit you. Where you got to buy toilet paper to wipe your ass. You got to buy clothes on your back. You got to buy a roof over your yeah. head. These motherfuckers, they give you that jail speech. Yeah. Oh, I've been on this show. I mean, that shit, man, get your bitch ass out of my face. That little hour you got to come out with your little knife, get the fuck on. <laughs> like, no real talk, man. A tree can fall on you out here in this real world. You know what I'm saying? Real shit. I'm talking about about big facts and that's what that's what people do i was on the yard i was here man that shit lame bro i got responsibilities and yeah. shit out here in the real world so when you sit up there calling people home to put money on your books with your bitch ass hand out like come on bro <laughs> they're glorifying it yeah, like really glorifying yeah. that shit like don't get me wrong some people in there standing on business though you feel me but they don't glorify that yeah. shit and they don't hit you up like oh yeah i didn't been in uh this pen and then i did six years of it bro you look stupid to me You giving me that speech Cause I'm gonna make you feel stupid I'm like oh for real uh, How many days of rent did you pay How many How much toilet paper did you That's buy a To man. wipe your ass That's a man You feel me Cause That's they give you man. toilet paper in jail They give you that bed They give you that blanket Yeah people Come that on. are institutionalized Like to go back like, Cause they're taken care of Them same people that be in there Talking all that shit When you see them on the streets They be somewhere on the corner with a cup Asking for some change Man get your bitch ass Out of my face Dead homies Like for Yeah real. they're the same gangsters Who never leave their mom's house Fast Yeah so hey. like The jailhouse Facts. Replaced the mom Where's the little <laughs> Timmy, hey, How you <laughs> Facts no Right Jailhouse there, replaced their mom Because hey, You know they like the, I hung with those guys I'm like let's go out and eat Hey man my mom's Looking at home food So I'm gonna just you know, Chill at home I'm like, Oh okay hey, my bad I'm sorry youth, man. I hope I'm all the sorry, youth Really man. get something from that Man don't never let nobody Make you think you gotta go to jail for you to be somebody oh, you to stand on business, man. Fuck hey, that. Jail I went to shit. jail for a week, and I remember the ride to jail. I remember like at first before I went to jail, I visited a friend in jail, and I remember him saying like, "Man, I'd just give anything to go under a tree and read." And I was like, "What?" And I remember I took the bus on the way to jail because you ride this bus on the way to Rita, and I, and I looked outside, and I was like. <laughs> Oh my god That's what I want to go do right now Like I want to go to that tree And just be free And just read But I don't know what the fuck I'm going to right now And I gotta say Like the first day Traumatic You sit in front of a room They bring you in this room They bring you in the room This is a clip by the way They bring you in the room And it's just you
you. It's just you. So something could go down within a minute, and it's just you and this big ass cop who's telling you to undress and bend over and cough. And it's so demasculate. It's so like it's humiliating. It's just man. taking away all your madness. Man. And then they give you this drab clothing, and then I'm walking to this thing called West Pod, and. For sure, the greeter was really polite, though. <laughs> like, he was really nice. Like, this cool, like, I don't know what he was, but he was a leader of the pod. That whole situation sucked, bro. I was like, this is the biggest fucking waste of time. I'm actually doing just like, this sucks. Sure. I can't holler at a bitch. I, I just, that, that one thing was just like, oh. And I got to deal with the pot. And who, where do I rank in fighting? This is like Dude. not good. Like, hey Santa Rita is like a mini prison. Yeah, though. it's Man, just. Homies, though. It's, I'll put that on air. They're very frustrated in Rita. I just you got know? out of Rita, unfortunately. There's a lot of shanks in Rita. Yeah. There's a lot of shanks. And it's everything in that motherfucker. It's, so shit. It's just like, well, I remember waking up and they cleaned us out and they found like hella shanks right by my like bed. And I'm just like, there's three or four shanks by me, man. That's crazy. <laughs> it's just crazy. It's just they a crazy thought. Like, it's just a crazy thought. Like, they for sure put within by your four bed. feet, yeah, they put them by my bed. But within like three, four feet, like there's just shanks at all. Or, and I didn't know. I'm like, you just do that to the bed and you got a shank. <laughs> like, what the fuck? I'm like, it made me look at the place a lot differently. Like, like, I just look around after that, like, <laughs> what's different? Oh, you know? Shit. So, yeah, jail it yeah. wasn't fun. People are, girl, I'm like, it's, <coughs> I'll never write a rap about anything that happened in here. Because so um, it was just sucked. Next bro. time somebody try to do that, just remember, just I, remember everything I said. So for one, it's an intimidation tactic. And for two, just ask them some life questions about like what you've been doing in the real world and see how they take it. It's going to make well, them feel stupid. Well, they can't. They don't have the skill. No, it's going to make them feel stupid. Why yeah. they just trying to, oh, 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 for real? Well, shit, I've been paying rent and, you know, I got to buy, you know, things that matter. They matter. don't pay rent. <laughs> they don't, they but don't that's what's going to check they them They mom's house, for man. For sure. Damn homies. They and a lot of them would have been gangsters if they didn't have a mom. If they sure. didn't have that support system, they they would just really be homeless, like in a shelter or something for like real, that. For you real. Know what I mean, or really just nah, not even bad. no shelter. They would be on the streets or some, like. or with a girl they don't like. It's really for sure. you know, they gonna, <laughs> you, know, <laughs> you know, be that guy. <laughs> I've seen those guys too at Walmart. They don't look really happy. You know? <laughs> He's at Walmart for sure. Well, they're definitely at Walmart. I'll they tell definitely you, definitely at Walmart for sure. You see them? They for sure at Walmart like. 10.30 yeah. They not going in the they daytime They are gonna be yeah. there About 10.30 p.m. Yeah p.m. Be right before close No one's there It's like hey So At the oh, clothes man. rack With oh, the man. bitch <laughs> <laughs> It's a real thing oh, In the bay man shit. They done fucked up People got cameras now Don't get caught out But I'm just I'm rack. being honest Like people that can go back To the mom's house They They tough it out mm. man They gotta tough it out That's just what I see I'm mm. actually like Doing okay, so I don't have to fortunately do that. But yeah. you're doing okay too. You know what I mean? Man, I all you guys are doing on my shit like wrong, this wrong. in my life, bro. Like yeah. facts, though. I ain't never been on my shit like this in my life, and I feel good. And at this point, like you're smiling a lot for sure. When I see you. I'm trying though, but like you know, what I'm saying I got a lot of dark clouds a nigga dealing with. But I'm I'm trying to get I'm trying to get from up under and not understand. Motherfuckers want you to be mad. Motherfuckers want you to be down. Oh yeah, that's how they want. Yeah, when you happy, that yeah. fucks with people's spirit. It really like, does. Why the fuck is this dude so happy? It really like, does. Like, for real. I want my enemies mad. Facts. If I don't like you, I like you mad because it's like, <laughs> you know, you're not winning you know, at that point. And I, you know, Everything. and I just I try to stay happy usually. Like if I don't like you or like your thought, I just go here. You know. Yeah. It's tough. That make all the motherfucking sense in the world. Yeah. yeah. Just some yeah. people be sneak enemies though. They don't oh yeah, they're, they're happy they for you. Yeah, but they're talking shit. Yeah. Yeah, like bro, I'm I'm like real talk, bro. Get the fuck from around me. Like you got to watch how they come in jokes too. Like the you feel me? Show the you gotta snide the jo jokes. You got to watch the, the jokes. The discompliments. That should be yeah, for real, though. Shit. They're coming to <laughs> joke. <laughs> yeah, weak as fuck. <laughs> it is weak as fuck. America. And we see you, and we know it's a diss, and you're not slick. Come on. Hello. Man. 
Like, come on, man. That's I a really commercial. Slap fire about a nigga. Don't play with me. Like, bro, if you know me, you know I'm a humble nigga, though. And I got that for Mary Mays. Rest in peace, my grandmama. You feel me? Rest in peace, her soul. My grandma. Yeah, the grandma. Yeah, that's why you're a good guy. That's why you're a good guy, man. My grandma's baby. My grandma made yeah, me. Yeah, well, all grandma's time, babies is yours. I, I turned that too. shit up, though. I am like, one, too. I matched that shit times 10. And one thing I learned, too. In greatest want to be raised bro. by his grandma, man. So I love my because they skip a generation yeah, of bullshit. Yeah, you know, they hurt give you that. Losing her, man. You yeah. know what I'm saying? I love your soul. I love your life, grandmama. And I know you see me though. You feel me? Uh, mm. well, uh, what the fuck? Hey, I'm hey, some real game though. I, I hate to bring up anything I really learned in jail, but one thing I really learned and I use in this world though, and it's some real game, bro. Play dumb, you get ahead. <laughs> oh, show. Sure. Hello, I'm I live by that. With you. Play dumb and no, see how I, I people live by really that. treat you. Like. I, like for real, play dumb. <laughs> this act is so how, Mo how knows how I really read. Like you, bro. I, I act like I just don't know, and I know this and is then another when you thing. Turn that That's shit another up commercial. Ass, they think back. Yeah. Like damn, hold on. This motherfucker is not stupid. No. They think back to all the most fake ass moments they had with you and all that shit when they thought they was little boy and you talking down you at you and you feel me? They yeah. think about like, hold on, bro, this nigga caught all that shit because. Just well, by one conversation You could turn that shit up And let them know Where you at with it And they gonna think back To all that shit like Yeah Hold on Is this nigga playing? Duh no, I got rid of five engineers Like that Facts I fired five people Through that method Like Straight up I just act like I don't know Or I'm not aware Or if they free think game. A certain stereotype yeah, Free I'll, game yo I'll live that yeah. stereotype For them Because People let down their guard if they think you're stupid, Facts, and I've seen it. And that it's due to their. It's this is this is another clip. Yeah, it's. I swear to God. Well, it's it's due to their ego, and I see it on their face. So if if I say some, and maybe it looks bad in front of my girl, or whatever, like that, I can see it in their face. Like oh yeah, like really weak minded people God, get an ego. Bro. Go oh yeah, I'm up on this. Dog, I could just play. God, and I think like man, you are so stupid to play me. Like you should go play anybody fucking else in the world but me, someone that actually wants to help people. You want to play me, someone that would pay you back. Like, like you're over here trying to fuck with people that would never pay you back. Nah, but I like you would diss me. And like, I think no like I'm fucking you're the off. fucking idiot. You're so fuck those people shit. that think they're all slick and you think we're done, like, no, I know your shit. I'm two steps ahead. I'm in this business every fucking day. You think anything gets past me? That's how. I feel. That's where you Honestly, are stupid. That's how I feel like motherfuckers is like if you would think that I'm that stupid, like for yeah. real, bro. Even if I said something stupid and you played into that shit, bro, don't like come on, yeah. you gambling with yourself, right? Don't don't play with me, like don't play, like, and, and and this is why they shouldn't play because when you play, it makes us lose all the faith in a something future that's great. For we sure. might be cool with you for the moment now and still be us. But yeah, if I'm feeling like, hey, you couldn't keep business straight, so why the fuck would I do something with you? You you had an opportunity. And bring up one where it wasn't solid on my end. Just bring up one. Okay, you can't. But I can. For sure. So why the multiple. fuck would I want to get... You so that's why I cut multiple. off people. So I fire people fast because I, I cannot give you my roses, bro. I will sure. be here for them because I'm solid, and and the reason why I'm firing you because you're not. <laughs> yeah. You're doing something unsolid. You have an excuse for it, but you have an excuse for something unsolid. You shouldn't even be having a fucking conversation about it. For sure. You shouldn't be involved in the conversation. Everybody don't deserve your loyalty. That's too. That's they that's, really that's don't. That's another thing I learned because I'm so loyal, and it's just like. I don't know. At one point, I thought because you want to go somewhere and bring people with you, bro. For sure, but loyalty only goes so far because I didn't been loyal to negative situations. I didn't been loyal to people that wasn't loyal to me. So at right. this point, like real talk, I'm just on some. Just be honest with me. Don't fucking right. lie to me. Like you know what I'm saying. Like for real, because that word loyalty get thrown <laughs> so recklessly. So like a liar, that's almost like. Almost like a thief to me Because I don't fuck with no thieves They the bottom of the everything But a liar is like right <laughs> under Streets is just like <laughs> You was dealing with one recently <laughs> I don't fuck with thieves like, I hate bro, thieves like, too oh, man, the I hate the bottom, okay, bro. So I'm going to say something I would leave my office open When I had these interns come in right? And I would intentionally leave cash out there So I admit I got took for maybe 50, 100 bucks But it would prove to me who did it 
Because I know who'd be around, I know who'd have a track record, and I know who was capable and who wouldn't. And people be like, hey, Billy, why do you leave yourself open? And I'm like, because sometimes I leave thousands around. For sure. So I will leave 50 like around for you. If you can't leave that around. That's here, what I'm saying. If you leave 100 bands, That's 200 what my bands. point is. If and you like, go to the bathroom, it's going to be a gun pointed at you when you come back. Thank, or he just going to be gone. So One or the other. That's why I do. I, I leave myself for open. Sure. I have gotten took. But that's why. Because it's like it leaves me to show evidence. And I can go back in a time with something happening. Okay, he did this. He was there. He was acting funny. He didn't show up the next day because he stole. For sure. And that's how I caught some interns stealing because four interns would be here. Only three would come back. And, and I asked them, why y'all come back? Because I know they're coming back because they're broke. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that's why you're here. And the guy that's not broke is spending my fucking money. <laughs> Yeah, I can't stand So that's There's just like you, ways man. To figure it out You know And that's just how Shit. I figured out A couple of interns I figured out two interns Like that Okay y'all never hear When money comes up Missing the next day I feel like that sucker shit Cause you had to Like Conceal it under my nose And get on with it Like Give me action And hold me Take that shit from me Look me in my face they Like walk. bitch They're ass I'm taking this shit People don't think that When they see an opportunity And look I've done it too I went to a Starbucks bathroom And seen free toilet paper <laughs> <laughs> I thought about it too I was like God damn I'm the same fucking guy <laughs> So it's oh, about shit. opportunity. <laughs> that is a oh, shit. you know what that is, but yeah. So oh, <laughs> you know, hey, please shout don't out miss my out boosters on these clips, though. I got but, some boosters though. You feel me? I, I ain't putting them in the same category. There's yeah. no like rat ass thief. Oh, boosters coming. take from me? big corporations. Sure. That's that's I got different. Some partners, though, that go crazy. That's though, different. Still from I ain't them. Even put they all that's not thieving. There, that's not thieving. Like from your friend. Yeah, that's or like thief. a mom and pop shop. Or that is thieving. For like sure. that. That's but a corporation, sure. no man, yeah. take that shit. I do. I fucking change tags. What <laughs> <laughs> the fuck? I'm wearing the Ross. That's crazy. just eighteen. That's Real five. Shit. <laughs> like, Real shit. You know, it's a tag. I can oh, take no, it the shit. fuck off. Like, <laughs> it has a weird slit, and you just can't crease it too much. Like ooh, oh, no, like, no, that's what's up. That's yeah, what's up. like fuck you, Ross. <laughs> <laughs> That's yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I just I don't think that's stealing. You know nah, what I mean? I think that's boosted. Stealing well, that's boosted. Like yeah, there's a difference. Somebody yeah. you called your partner, or you, this is the worst, bro. If you bring somebody with you, and then they steal from Damn. one of your people, like, bro, that's the fucking worst. Like, you put me in a fucked up. Ass that is position. the ultimate fuck boy. Like, bro, right there. Use, I, I'm oh, going he's willing to fuck up your shit. Everything. Yeah. I can't. I. Streets, how you feel about that, man? Because that really get man. Like, that's so fucked up. I didn't been in fucked up ass position. I don't even like being around when somebody like, oh, where's my phone? And I'm, I'm with one of my partners, and I got to question myself, like, bro, this nigga just take this nigga phone. <laughs> oh, my <laughs> God, bro, that's the worst. And sometimes, bro, listen. I'll be in here. I know Bruh. someone stole something, and I know it wasn't the guy that bought the time because it's never the fucking it's, it guy never. that bought the time because he has never. something to lose. And it's always and I always look at his face and I feel so <laughs> bad. Like, hey, bro, you know our remote's missing, and it's just it just works for this TV. So you know, it's just if one of you guys wanted so bad, fine. But if we could just get it back, uh, it's not, it's, it was here. Like it was right here for sure. And the, the, the here, look man. on the guy's face And it wasn't like Oh believe You know He's trying to be calm But you can tell he's pissed He For wants sure. it Just like oh. And I'm just like Hey one time I had a studio At, at, at Hayward It was over on Foothill And uh, we had these clients Come through At the time I don't know if you know Who DJ J12 is But he's For like sure. a big DJ Right We, we fuck with each other well, tough DJ J12 DJ J12 J12, the one that was the C2, the dance at the Yikin. Jose. We did yeah, the show yeah, yeah, J12, a Jose. big For DJ. Sure. He's yeah. a big DJ. So shout we had J12. J12. Shout, this is a funny ass story. Sure. This is another clip. This is a lot of clips in this one. So J12 uh, had his uh, PlayStation there, and these kids came and recorded, right? And I saw the PlayStation there when I left. And when I came back, when I left, they said, hey, man, our PlayStation's gone. And these kids are kind of acting funny, you no know, lie. So I come back and I'm like, bro, y'all take the PlayStation? <laughs> Straight up. <laughs> and he goes, no. And I said, check. And I had to get, I had to think. I said, okay, listen, man, mind game, bro. My neighbor got a camera. So I'm finna go check that camera. And if I see y'all with that shit, that's jail. That's automatic. Go. And I know you didn't take it. 
but your friend did, but you're going to jail for him. Because you're real as fuck, right? You're real as fuck. Oh, and you'll shit. sit that time. For, and he didn't know you're not going to go to jail for him. You know, but I called that bluff. Sure enough, he would start sweating. He actually ended up running from the studio. Uh, but, like, his phone got blown up because J12 called me. like, what happened? I told him. He's like, who the fuck is this dude? So he blasted his name on social media, the guy that booked the session. Five days later, he got his PS4 back. Like they oh, were shit. blowing up, oh, cause that's J twelve man. J twelve yeah. had hell of people hit this boy up on his phone. They think who was this guy? And he tagged him and hell of people. Like, that's his number. Oh, he lives here. Oh, he <laughs> high school. Oh, it was bad. Mom stay, <laughs> sister stay. It was good to see that happen though. Yeah, that's what's up. It felt good for me anyway. Yeah, that's definitely the worst. Yeah, that's definitely the worst. Yeah, um, but that's these man. For sure, that's a thief right there. For Painted sure, the studio, and you don't need people like that around you. Like if you can't um, comfortably take your homeboy with you nowhere, stop fucking with him. If you got any doubt in your mind, if I go over here, I wouldn't give a fuck if it's ten bands on the table. If you come with me, bro, that's my name on that shit. Yeah. You saying fuck me? Yeah, yeah that's, that's what they're that saying. Person. You saying fuck? And your me. whole network and everyone Everything. you know is not important. Every, Everyone situ- you know is not important. In some That's what where bugs you're me. Fuck like, my life, though. In some situations, you saying fuck my life because yeah, it's ten bands, bro. Yeah, and they know me. They don't know you. Like you know what I'm saying. So at that point, you point blank saying fuck my life. So it's fuck your. And life, you bro. kind of vouch for him bringing them there. You know, yeah. like, you know, and I ain't I, no kinder. You vouch for him yeah, bringing no, them with I you. Mean, so I, your yeah. name on it. So y'all watch out, you feel me? You got them people around you. If y'all still fucking with them type of people, like, bro, come on. See, that's why when you're like a new booty in the bay, you want to just know hella people. But when you've been here for a while, you don't want to know anyone, bro. Nobody, and that's like why, like, people are so, like, that was me. I, I got a good personality. I know a lot of people, but just being a good person, I'm like, I don't want to know a lot of people. I just want to know the right people. Right. That makes sense, though, for real. You know what I mean? I make all this. That's why you stop being so nice to everyone when you get older. Because you're just like, fuck you, man. (laughs) For real. That's crazy. You know, I've been, I just, well, I'm just like old people. I learn from old people. I hang with old people. And I always watch old people. I don't watch young people. Old old people have been there twice. For sure. So you gotta listen to what they're saying. Like, they just been, and they're not doing it for the thrill of it. All the testosterone has left their body. They're not, you know, just. Whatever they felt sexy, they weren't. So they're just telling you how it fucking is. Like, Free oh game God. right there. That's real talk, though. You can't do nothing but respect that. They just doubled your motherfucking little life. And how many times you defended your friends in front of your parents and your parents were right? You ever had that? <laughs> That'd be the bullshit right there. Hey, you now, know what's crazy? Of, yeah. My mama told me, like, it's certain people. like Yeah, you your moms me? know. I don't know who really got Unless your mom's just an overall hater, which I felt like my mom was. She was wrong on three my of my best friends. My mom both. Don't get me wrong. My mom, my mom was wrong on three my people. My mom hater, but she be knowing. Some you know. people, yeah. You can tell the situation, like, knowing. oh, she was being different on that lady. Sure. You know, like, I don't know about that. Man, it and was times we in my living room getting big high, big packs everywhere, big bottles of syrup, hella shit. And my mom walk in and be like, who is this? I'm like, oh, that's my partner. She don't look like, like him. The po- no, he look like the police. I'm like, mom, bro, you tri-. Like, I sweat. But she actually, she mom would know. And at the he end of the sell day, y'all like, out. I don't know who told him. I mean, I was fucking with a lot of people. Like, she my know. mom was like, man, what the fuck? That's your mom. And at the end of the day, then, guess where I was at? I was at my mama house doing all that shit, right? Yeah. Ain't none of my niggas tell me, bro, this ain't cool. You know what niggas told me? Pull that motherfucking syrup up. Fire that motherfucking blender up. It's a knock outside. Let's go serve it. You feel me? That's the game. Big facts, though. You feel me? Now I'm out. Yeah. I'm in my own shit. 2021. Yeah. I'm working a nine to five. You feel me? Yeah, okay. Still doing my music. I ain't going to quit my job to the point where I feel like my music is really paying me enough to where I can stop working somewhere that's guaranteed you or know? you get a side hustle or a hustle that overtakes I ain't going back the to selling no but not not, not a hustle like that like legit hustle for like sure. like Facts. a business or sure. you start on selling everything. shirts or on everything you know what i mean yeah, look out look out for that mafia clothes you feel me oh that the mafia coming. that shit coming i'm gonna get that yeah, I'm gonna buy one. and all that shit but i'm uh where you pressing it at because we do pressing downstairs. You know, I have oh, to well, you we, with my we, guy, but yeah, we, we, finna, talk. we finna fuck, we finna fuck yeah. with Create Studio. Yeah, Shout yeah, out. yeah. yeah. Let, me, let me press up your stuff, man. G-O-D. The first round. You heal. Thing, 
So I can buy that first copy. That's crazy. Everything happens for a reason. Look at how it didn't work out. Ooh, shit. Oh, mama. Hey, and you be one leave, of my first customers. Yeah. We take care of you. We give you good price and everything. When we leave, we, uh, we got to talk some business, man. When yeah. We well, remember the guy you meet. met, Bub? I'm going to give you his oh, number. My mama, yeah, so you Bub, just Bub, me that Bub, shit Bub handling all day. my shit. Create apparel. Uh, oh, so, yeah, did, screen print. We got embroidery screen. Um, yeah, you want the embroidery because I want both though. Oh yeah, because it yeah, because it's screen faster and it's cheaper. But the, the embroidery legit. I want both. I, it's I real ain't professional. I'm, I'm, I'm all in. You yeah. ain't say less. I'm uh damn that shit. Cause I'm right. glad you brought hey, that yeah. shit back you up on everything. <laughs> Good shit. Good it's shit. It's definitely gonna be mafia. It's gonna be some mafia business. You feel me, sir? So you feel me? You know mm. what I'm saying? We keep that shit mafia. You feel me? On keep that shit, in, boy. You feel me? On uh, there, streets, I want to uh, appreciate you coming out, man. Streets yeah. from Dream King Studios, legendary engineer, mixer, artist, man. That's my motherfucking dog, man. Look out for his shit, man. Follow him on motherfucking gram. They call me Streets. You feel me? Follow him King on Gangster. King. What's up with you, gangster. man? Follow the man on King. You change your Instagram a lot So I'm gonna say It ain't I'm changing like, You feel me King Gangsta tripping for Lil J RP my baby You feel me That was my heart You feel me And um, I'm pushing for him though Facts though You feel me Cause he love music And He don't wanna see me down He wanna see me You feel me On my shit He wanna see me On my shit All the way up boy Come on man on my Ain't going nowhere else man Hey shout uh, out my boy Mo On the cam though You feel me <laughs> <laughs> Shout out Mo on the cam yeah, man Y'all can't see him But he yeah. doing his motherfucking shit You can't shit. see his girl He was over on the side there so was that. He's still on the side Ooh, Somebody dumbass slapping Ooh. Oh yeah that's the studio We're on top of a live recording studio hey, man, So Studios man Book your motherfucking time <laughs> You feel me? Um, Thank man, you, man. Dope. He got dope engineers down there. I've been you. in both booths. You feel me? And um, it, we it, trained them all quality. from the ground up too, man. Because I don't like people, so <laughs> we had to train people from the Mo trained from the ground up, man. Mo didn't know lick of anything. He came on, but he had a great attitude and he came on. Hey, hold on, Mo. What's drop your gram, man? Mo. Uh, media underscore Mo. Media, media underscore, underscore Mo, Mo, man. Check him out, man. He behind the cam though. Y'all can't see him. Yeah. But go check his motherfucking. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna put a blurp on there so they can't even read that. I'm just kidding. <laughs> so, like believe yeah. a dick Now uh, King Gangsta I appreciate you coming Absolutely, on Just supporting man. the uh, forum bro And even looking at the forum And wanting to get on here Streets I appreciate you bringing him along oh, man. man Follow this guy He's fresh out <laughs> Hey man said. I'm on my shit I promise y'all Check me out You will not be disappointed I got a story to tell I ain't just talking about No bullshit Shooting killing All that shit Man I got a story to tell though You feel me And I'm on my shit GLD That boy got a story to tell He got bars like crazy I don't know if y'all remember The videos I shot Back in the day But they went crazy They went over 20k On my on my YouTube Which don't even have A lot of subscribers hey, So they hey, found we this million. man We that, need a million On that ask about me uh, Y'all just dropped Is that shit got a million? No, we need, no, we need one. Oh, we need a million <laughs> yeah, we Well, we need, need a million yeah. You feel me? Go uh, Just type in King Gangster, man Ask about me Gonna pop up And just check me out though You feel yeah. me just, I ain't gonna put 10 on the two Just go check me out And ask about me though You feel me They gonna tell you bro um, Lyrics is real authentic I appreciate you You're an authentic yeah. dude Authentic ass content Appreciate it yeah. Create Podcast Yeah Ooh. We gonna have to get out Oh he just love the deep <laughs> <laughs> yeah.